Well, what is the new return date? Well, the new in-classroom return date, Stephanie, is set for October 19th. I'm going to show you a graphic of exactly who it is that this affects. This return date is for students in pre-K to 2nd, 6th, and 9th, as well as special education. All remaining grades return on October 26th. Prior to this announcement, students pre-K to 9th were supposed to return on October 1st. EPISD announced today the return was being delayed due to the rising cases of COVID-19 in El Paso. Just as you heard Eric mention these uh, rising numbers a short while ago, positivity rate has been steadily rising to 8% since, uh, since September 24th. EPISD was using the 5% positivity rate benchmark to file for a waiver from the Texas Education Agency to open in-classroom instruction. Now TA is mandating EPISD open its doors by October 19th because of the increase in cases. I spoke to one parent who dropped off her ninth grader here at El Paso High School for a, high, for a football scrimmage game. She says she was hoping students will return sooner than October 19th. I would have expected them to go back sooner, but I'm, of course, I want all the administration and the teachers and the kids and everyone to be safe, but I'm really looking forward to, as soon as they can be back, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Now we're going to continue talking to parents out here at El Paso High School because we see some parents that are dropping off students either for tennis or for that scrimmage football game that we're telling you about. For now, we're live outside El Paso High School, Saul Signs, ABC 7. Okay, so